the human ear the human ear converts sound energy to mechanical energy and then to a nerve impulse that is transmitted to the brain the human ear consists of three basic parts which are outer ear middle ear and inner ear the outer ear consists of pinna and ear canal pinna collects sound from outside ear canal is used to channel sound to the ear drum sounds are in form of a pressure wave with an alternating pattern of high and low pressure regions the middle ear the middle ear is an air filled cavity that consists of an ear drum and three small interconnected bones that are hammer anvil and stylus Austian tube connects the middle ear and throat which regulates pressure a compression of the incoming sound wave forces the eardrum inward and the refraction forces the eardrum outward eardrum vibrates at the same frequency as an incoming sound wave the movements of the eardrum set the hammer anvil and stylus into motion which amplify the vibrations of the incoming sound wave stylus transmit the vibrations to the fluid of the inner ear because it is connected to the inner ear the inner ear the inner ear consists of cochlear semicircular canals and auditory nerves the cochlear and semicircular canals are filled with a water like fluid the fluid and nerve cells of the semicircular canals help in maintaining the body balance cochlea is lined with air like nerve cells in which when a compressional wave moves from the middle ear set these small air like nerve cells into motion each air cell has a natural sensitivity to a particular frequency of vibration in which when the frequency of the compressional wave matches the natural frequency of the nerve cell which vibrate with a larger amplitude 
which makes the cell release an electrical impulse which passes around the auditory nerve to the brain. Then the brain is going to translate the sound. <laughs> 